overcast day. It's okay. Looking good. Oh, look at that iron just working. It's magic. Oh, it's so short. It is so short. I love it. As promised, we're going to go over to Jonathan's. Jonathan's was an early overseed, and we had some, a week in there, the soil temps were like 45. Ugh. So, and then the tenacities just bleached everything, killed pretty much everything that wasn't supposed to be there. I mean, we haven't, it hasn't been overseeded in three years. So a lot of stuff has come up. Grassy weeds, all that nasty. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and mow it down, do another seed, just a little bit more perennial rye. It just depends, we'll see. So let's mix up some juice for them real quick. You know the drill. We gotta get our backpack sprayer that's still chugging along. Now, normally I would just put down some Scott's starter furt on the second week. This is like the second week, but we're gonna use the simple lawn solutions. I just noticed it works pretty good, thickens it all up, gives it this nice green color. It'll help with the whole situation and the overseeding process. So let's go ahead and get the other product. Now, the nice thing about this is C3 helps a lot with the root growth, root stimulation, pretty much enhances all your liquid products. Let's just do five ounces, five, two, two, two. Let's do it. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, I hope this is recording. God, I hate that. I hate that, dude. When you like record just a, a long, awesome explanation, and then it, it, and you go to edit, nothing's there. <laughs> We got the juice, baby. So there's two ounces of that fish sauce. We can hold off on this. Cause we're not really, the color doesn't really matter right now. We, all we really need is the root stimulation, the nitrogen, and then the epic enhancer. But. Sorry, my dudes, you know me. I'm always getting phone calls. I apologize, I apologize. <laughs> Two ounces of the 2700, that's our nitrogen. It's gonna push all that epicness, the growth, stimulate the roots. You have to do this. This is week two. The moment you do week two, game over. One of you guys sent me something to do so it doesn't spill everywhere. I still gotta read that. I'm, I've been so busy, guys. I'm, I apologize. I'm trying to get to everything. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna try to get to all of you guys. If you notice, some of you guys be emailing twice and I get the second one because the first one got lost in all the... I mean, I, I, I can't you not. Now it's like 200 emails a day. Insane. Insane. So a double email uh, won't hurt. I won't be offended if you double email me. Oh, this is my favorite stuff, guys. I am not affiliated whatsoever. I'm buying all these products, okay? These don't get sent to me. I'm not hawking product. I buy all my stuff. So I buy all this product because I hate when people are super biased with their reviews just because they got paid for something. Nah, bro. We're really testing this stuff out so you know if it works or not. Oh, that's why they put that plumber's tape for shipping. Oh my goodness gracious. So skip the iron. You don't need iron right now. Not yet. That's later. Killer boots, man. Killer boots, man. All right, water time? Water time. Enough to pump the pump. Alrighty then. Simple loan solution is before we get all crazy, let's go ahead and take a stroll on over. Let me grab my mode of transportation real quick. Spider-Man scooter, let's get it cracking. Germination popping through. Oh, yeah, major germination. Let me show you guys the germination. So, no need to worry about the extra seed, we just need to give it time. 
definitely do not mow. No need to mow. Seeds coming through. And eventually it's just gonna thicken up. That's awesome, bro. We got major germination. Hell yeah. Can you guys see that germination? There they are. Hey guys. Welcome home. Welcome home. Oh, look at this patch. Oh, yes. I changed my mind. See this? Look at this, dude. That is crazy. I mean, that is some surviving grass. That's obviously, it's not a grassy weed because it survived tenacity. <laughs> that is some crazy fescue. Here's a lot of tenacity here, but as you can see, there's a ton of germination. A ton of germination. You just gotta cut this off, this layer of white. Here too. What is this, buffalo grass? Huh. I changed my mind. We're gonna do Malorganite. 2700 might be too much for these seedlings. A 640 might be the way to go. You know what I mean? Oh God. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Stay stable. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. This is soon. Can't wait for that. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I'm gonna have him water it a little bit today. Ah, screw it, we'll water it for him. I'm gonna add some iron and spray, Ricks. Screw it. Don't wanna let this go to waste. This is gonna be too strong for the seedlings. Way too strong for the seedlings. This is only gonna help Ricks overseed when he does it in a couple days. I hope he doesn't mind. His lawn can use some C3 for sure. I'm in the mood for some country music. Where you been? This is gonna be awesome. It's recovering. Okay, my dudes, let's try to fix the whiz. I don't know if I have any batteries. Let's double check. Because I haven't used the whiz spreader in years, bro. Oh my. Crusty, dusty. Let's fix this. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm low-key country. Dude, I grew up in the sticks, bro. We were going out to fuck freaking parties in the woods, bro. I remember my sophomore year in high school, me and my, my best friends, <laughs> It was called the big party in the woods. And we were like, someone was like, oh dude, this is gonna be the biggest party like ever. So we were driving forever. And I remember it was just a blast. I mean, the road trip was a blast. We get deep in the woods. I mean, we're, you're talking woods. Thank God we had a Pathfinder. Pathfinder was like, what up, what up, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then we get to the big party in the woods and there's maybe, maybe 20 people. Shooting off a bunch of guns. I remember we were there for like a couple minutes and they were like, nah, screw this. This is kind of stupid. <laughs> but it was all about the journey. It was the journey. It was the road trip. Ah, oh, those days were fun. I think it was called the big ass party in the woods. <laughs> Not the big ass party in the woods. But all this country stuff, because we just listen to country 24 seven. Last night we let the liquor talk. <laughs> I can relate to this song, shit. It just doesn't work anymore, bro. My whiz just doesn't want to work anymore, bro.
Did you see that? Every day. Out the sunroof. <laughs> Look, looking like a, looking like someone at prom. Out the limo. I'm dead, bro. I'm freaking dead. Oh, it's a little dirty on the contact here. Don't leave batteries in your shit. That's what this is. I've left batteries here for like a year and a half, maybe even two years. <laughs> Still doesn't want to work, bro. Is this going to be the whiz spreader freaking episode? How to fix your whiz spreader, even though you can just buy another one. Loved you forever. Have you guys listened to Lee Bryce? <laughs> There's a rumor going round. Feel it, don't you feel it too? Mm -hmm. That switch ain't switching. Is it me or does Sam Hunt just talk his ass off? Sam Hunt just won't shut up. I like it though. Keep talking, bro. That's a unique style. Straight telling a story, talking, and then singing. I've been breaking up was easy in the 90s. I know what it is. It's this. I'm not gonna deal with it. It's a $20 piece of equipment. Whatever. I'm gonna buy what? A $14 piece? <laughs> is Radio Shack even a thing? Screw it. I try to salvage as much as I can. I hate throwing stuff away. This is a lost cause. I just gotta buy a little manual one. No point in wasting the day on this. Save these at least. Oh, you guys thought I was actually gonna fix that? Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. You have to choose your battles. I mean, do I fix that or just get a manual one that won't ever break? <laughs> Not too much furt. It's uh, organic fertilizer to help with the growth of new seeds. So the mailbox over there, I'm gonna spread it on his lawn. I try. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it's really fun. Well, I better get to work. Take it easy. Shit. I'm gonna need another. I'm gonna need another spreader. It's, it's freaking weird. Like year five, everything just breaks on you. Everything's breaking. The hose, I've had two hoses break. I had the hose uh, sprayer nozzle break. Petra's breaking. Ego batteries are draining. What else is there? There's so much, this is breaking. I don't know what to do, man. We'll get there, we'll get there. Quick on and off, definitely seedling time. What's up, guy, how you doing? <laughs> it's all for YouTube. <laughs> How's your lawn doing? Nice. All right, brother, see ya. I better grab the blower. See you, Gavin. Me too. Uh oh, here's the man. I sprayed some, because I was gonna spray it on Jonathan's. It's the C3. Like pretty much a pre-seeding. So fertilizer, iron, all that good stuff. You're next week, yeah? Oh shit, yeah, cool. You'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little soggy. Maybe a little bit of silica sand. So I would do a mix of soil and sand together just so it has silica. Yep, Home Depot, 100 pound bags. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jonathan, Rick, <laughs> cool. Look at the crews, the crews here, Jesus. <laughs> the nice, the nice long crew. <laughs> Not yet, but Almost, it'll get there. Seed, peat moss. You're set, bro. Game over. I got you, yeah. You said the Sunday? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right on. Whenever I get up, feel like getting out here. Okay, cool. All right, Rick. Cool. See you, brother. Later, guys. Right, yep. Rick. What's up, bro? You wanna go over? Yeah. Let me close the garage. You know that little spreader that you have, the Wiz? Yeah. Mine just broke. <laughs> batteries? Oh shit, hold up, let me grab batteries for you. Cause mine broke, so it doesn't need them. Here you go, bro. Costco. <laughs> Kirkland brand. Here, let me blow this off real quick. Bro, do you have the seed that you planted right here? Do you have the bag? Verbo. It starts with a V though. Yeah. Oh, Vigro? Yeah, maybe Vigro. Yeah. It is Vigro, yep. That's freaking tall fescue, bro. Gosh. Is it? Bro, mine's broken too. 20 bucks, huh? Yeah. It won't turn on. So I got this. 
this one, right? How old is this? That's probably two years. Yeah, mine's old too. What is this guy? One that uh, you put the bag on it. What? You don't know nothing about this guy? Damn! I'm about to be like, oh snap! It's called the snap. Yeah. This is the oh snap. Oh snap. <laughs> Where's the bag though? The fertilizer? Fertilizer. No way. Oh, it's a snap pack. I've never seen that, bro. Yeah. That is custom. <laughs> <laughs> we got the oh snap. <laughs> I'm dead. So I'm gonna show you, it's really growing, bro. Cause it's only been two weeks. See, I just put a bunch of malorganite. Yeah, okay. That's gonna freaking, yeah. yeah, you can pull that stuff out. That way they're not competing. And then also, you still have seed, yeah? Yeah. Throw some down. Throw some down. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna I was gonna advise you too, I was telling everyone, in the fall, we have to kill everything off. Okay. You got too much stuff going on. Let's kill everything off. A fresh, clean slate. I'll plant one grass type. It'll look just like that. It'll be so clean, it's not even funny. So that's fall, you know, fall prep. This will thicken up a lot, bro. You, you know how it is. Last yeah. time it took like what, 19 days? Yeah. The thing is we seeded kind of early. So it was a little bit colder temperature, soil temps. Yeah. Now they're like 50 degrees. It'll start going up and poof, crazy. Okay, cool. So right on, bro. Yes, sir. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay, appreciate you. Yeah, hell yeah. I was bragging about your Tesla yesterday on the channel. Oh, you I was like, we got some ballers up in here. <laughs> see you, Jonathan. Yeah, he's looking good. Nothing to worry about. Then my dude here planted, we gave him some seed. Game over. I saw Rick and John. I'm telling you guys, the lawn crew is real. That's a real thing. We're going to take over. The lawn crew. <laughs> what you going to do? Who you going to call? Lawn crew. <laughs> We all have our backpack sprayers. <laughs> oh hell no! Neighborhood. Who you gonna call? <laughs> That's the thing about PGR. It keeps it tight, bro. You don't have to cut as much. Look at how smooth the mane looks. Insane. Insane. That iron really just oh. Oh, see, I'm used to big dog's iron. I'm used to Lawn Supply Co. iron. That iron I've been using for years and I have no complaints. Every time I put down big dog's iron, it gets black, like a bluish hue. I love that iron. Look at that. Instant darkness. Lawn, Lawn Supply Co., I would have to say, poops on the Simple Lawn Solutions Iron. I mean, I I might have to admit something too. That triple 18 that Big Dog has is no joke. That powdered triple 18 is no joke. Don't get me wrong, Simple Lawn Solutions is not bad, but I'm used to good. And I could be speaking too early right now. It is growing season. Oh, man, I'm telling you. The powdered triple 18 with the iron and the manganese, and I even even tried his other products. <laughs> People are like, make a compost tea. This is toxic. Toxic to grass, at least. I like to, you know, massage it a little bit. Put them back in there. Dad, what's up? Yeah, I'm home. Okay. I bought a sandwich, chicken sandwich for you from Bosco. Uh, oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, bye. Thanks, Dad, bye. Okay, while we do that, I gotta explain a couple things because I'm getting, I'm telling you, when I when I have a ton of emails, every episode I do, I just get questions and I try to answer all of them as best I can. But you know, if I get multiple questions, I'll just say it on the next episode. So people are saying, why are you not doing it every 12 hours? Well, number one, I'm not that inner retentive. <laughs> the backpack. Backpack is overseated, guys. Looks so good. You see how thick that is? That's pre-germination, and that's also change the water every 24 hours. I don't know who in their right mind is gonna be 12 hours. 
<laughs> like, come on, bro. It's not that serious. We're not, we're not anal retentive here like some, some people are. I mean, we are, but we're not that anal retentive. So it's not that big a deal. Every 24 hours is fine. Another thing, what are you gonna use to spread it? So some people are literally like, hey, well, what if it's all sticky and wet? in your spreader, how do you spread that? It's, it's not going anywhere. Well, that's why I use a carrier. Now, my carrier that I use and I love is Melorganite. So what you'll do is you'll put some seed in a wheelbarrow, put some Melorganite down, more seed, Melorganite, I call it the layer cake. Seed, Melorganite, seed, Melorganite. Then you mix it in, okay? You mix it in. Make sure it's drained, and that's right before you're about to seed. So when you're doing all your process, you're doing putting your sand down, or if you're putting down your soil, your, your aeration, all that, the seed is chilling in the melorganite. Melorganite will suck up a little bit of the moisture and then it'll spread it, it's a carrier. So you're gonna add melorganite when that time comes. And I'll show you guys how to do that all too. It's just, it, I have so many videos of me doing this. I mean, it, it really does save time, especially with this Kentucky bluegrass. What's the other question that everyone's asking? Uh, oh, how long? Generally, you want, you want the seed to split. Once the seed splits at the tip, pretty much, you know, germination, that's time to plant. That's time to put the seed down. I have never pre-germinated Kentucky Blue. Like I said, on the 15th, it's going down whether anyone likes it or not. I'm putting it down on the 15th, it's a couple more days. At least we saved some water because it's moist, you know? And again, some people are like, oh, you just need to do it for one day and then let it dry out. Well, the way I do it works. I'm not gonna test things out, especially for a lawn renovation for my neighbor, when I know my processes work, especially in this area. It might work like that for warm season grasses. It might work like that for other places. But here, what I do, I'm not watching other YouTubers and then following their stuff. I do my own thing. I've done this trial and error. I've tested a million things out in the lawn and this is what works for me. And that's why I tell you what I do and you can follow from there and tailor to your needs. And a lot of you guys are, are warm season grass, which is insane. This is all cool season channel, but you can take some of the fertilizer tips. You can take some of these herbicide tips. Some, again, warm season is completely different. I'm not a pro at it at all. I've never even worked with it. I've gone to Hawaii and I've played in it. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I want to be working with Bermuda as well. It's alpha grass, it's the best grass you can get. I mean, what, what more do you want? We cut short, Bermuda gets cut short. Phenomenal. So, those are the three main questions that we had. Guys, this is just, the purpose of this is to save a little bit of water in the beginning. That's all that is. Watering your grass 10 minutes at a time, three times a day, you're saving a little bit of water. So, again, this is gonna be about a four day, five day, Pre-germ, you know, it'll it'll go, it'll go. All right. Waterfall! God, if it kills the grass over here, we know it's toxic. I know what you're thinking. You're just, you just keep pushing the water, well no, because eventually once it hits the bottom, it'll just stay on top, so it's fine. We could mow the front. I'm telling you guys, I, I keep saying this. I'm just relaxing, I'm making sure everyone's prepared and ready for their stuff. I'm making sure we're prepared and ready for our stuff. It's about to be cray. What you guys got going on, huh? What you got going on? I'm just chilling, baby. I'm just chilling. As you can see, we got major overcast. There's the sun. Should we cut the lawn? I just feel like sometimes the lawn just needs a break. And so do we. I got a lot of things to organize tonight. Ugh. I gotta organize all my freaking files, bro. I'm telling you. Every month I'm buying five terabyte hard drive. Every month. So much footage. Insane the amount of footage that we go through here. That's why I'm dreading the using the big the, the good camera. I do like a hundred and hundred and seventy, two hundred gigs per episode. It's a lot of work. Am I complaining though? Hell no. I'd rather be doing this than anything else. Come on. That's why we do this. That's why we're so like on it every day. You do stuff that you love? There's no such thing as time restraints and things like that. We're just, the time restraints we have are just literally weather. That's all we, I mean, I would be planting that because obviously you see germination on Jonathan's, but I really want three day germination. That's my goal every time I, I see it. Three day germination. It's really quiet today in the hood. Like no one's out. That's what happens when there's overcast. Everyone stays inside like, ah, I'm gloomy today. I'm gloomy. <laughs> and I'm out here like, let's freaking mow. <sighs> let's mow. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna mow, Dad. All right, guys, let's just mow it up. No bag. 
Simple mo, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing doesn't look like anything yet, but it'll come soon enough. We're training the area, which is great, because then we get that definitive line, you know? You can see it. And then I'm literally fading right here. It's like a taper fade. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. It's totally a taper fade. The only reason why I wouldn't want to be a barber is because the lawn's forgiving. People or not. <laughs> Could you imagine just, oops, oh my gosh, I, I would, I would, hell no, bro, hell no. And then some of these barbers just have no remorse. They're just like, oh well, sorry, or you moved. No, I didn't, bro. No, I didn't. You have something sharp in your hand, and you're, you could potentially cut me, bro. I'm not moving. <sighs> I'm not a fan of barbershops, hence the shagginess every single time. I just, uh, it's one of those things where you're just like, you go in, and it's like you just bullshit the same thing over and over again. I'm not about that life. I just want a haircut. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anywho, that's what happens when you're antisocial. Believe it or not, I'm pretty pretty antisocial. It's really nice just to chill, you know? I like just... That's why I like the lawn. Especially the backyard, because I'm just like chilling, you know? I'm very chill mode. Front, I'm always getting, you know, something. But here, it's like, oh, okay. That's why I really want to make this really nice, like... I can't wait, dude. I cannot wait for this to just be perfect. Look at that. It's all patchy and nasty. Don't worry. It'll get there. You can see the lines. I can see the vision. Again, it's all time. It's just time.
I mean, it's perfect timing. It's raining. We did a lot today. Like I said, we had, we had a good time. I had a blast. Love helping the neighbors always. Pre-germination is going full effect. This greens area, just maintaining, trying, trying to, you know, prep it for the overseed. That's the issue, man. If you don't kill this stuff off, it's just going to keep going. But hey, what can you do? We'll have a really mixed looking greens until we eventually do the actual reno in the, in the fall for sure. 100%. Stick around. 100% fall reno. It'll happen. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much again. Always, I'm, I, if you're getting sick and tired of me thanking you, I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it every single episode. You know, I'm grateful for everything you guys do. I'm not a YouTuber that takes people for granted like that, you know? Like, I try to respond to everyone. And like I said, since there's a, a lot of the same questions, it's usually the next episode I'll answer a lot. So this last one, like I said, was a bunch of pre-germination questions. A lot of the same ones. So, you know, please watch the next video. And I, again, I'll try to get to as much as I can. And again, if you do a double email, I wouldn't, I, I'm not gonna be mad about that. It just pushes you up forward. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Seriously, you're the best. You're amazing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Mm.